Hey guys, we're getting down to the last two class legendary cards for the new expansion set. And this one seemingly is a very, very, very solid pick. We're looking at the Trade Prince Gallywix, which is a 5-8, not bad stats for 6 mana. And whenever your opponent casts a spell, you gain a copy of the spell they just played and you give them a coin. As you can see on the right, right there, you have the Gallywix's coin, and the only real difference between that and the original coin that you get at the start of the game is that it will not trigger Gallywix. Now this guy's something of a fusion between Gadget Sand Auctioneer, Lore Walker Cho, and a solid beefy minion. Since Gadget Sand Auctioneer is getting nerfed down to 6 mana with the same 4-4 stats, it's maybe not going to be quite as viable as it was in Miracle decks in the past. Taking a look at this guy, he might even be a better choice than Gadget Sand Auctioneer at this point. The only way to play around this guy is to play minions instead of playing spells, and by doing that, you open up a rogue to doing AoE board removal, something like a Blade Flurry or a Fan of Knives. Playing a Trade Prince is a lot like playing a Lotheb in that you really don't want to play spells against it unless you absolutely have to. About the best answer to this would be something like if your opponent decides to use Shadow or Death on the Trade Prince, which, yeah, it's mana efficient, but it also gives you a Shadow or Death as well. Coins can certainly be useful, but I don't think giving your opponent a coin is really going to be that big of a deal 9 out of 10 times. So the combination of having a tough minion with good stats for his mana cost that also forces your opponent to play very differently than they would otherwise, sounds like a winning combination to me. I think that if I was going to play Miracle Rogue in the expansion, or honestly, almost any kind of rogue, I'd be wanting to have a Trade Prince Gallywix in my deck. He seems very, very solid, and that also applies for Arena Mode, because he has good stats. 5-8 is almost an ideal stat lineup, and people do still play spells in Arena, so if they are ever forced to use one of their spells on you, which is pretty likely honestly, because Gallywix is big, he'll get 2 for 1 at least against lesser minions. Then your opponent's going to give you card advantage, she might throw a fireball your way, a polymorph, even a flame strike if you're lucky enough. All around the board I think he's a great card to play, and against anything except a Gadget Sand Auctioneer deck, having that coin isn't going to be that devastating that you need to worry about it. If your opponent decides to create themselves and innovate by dumping two of their spells on the board to remove this guy and remove your other guys, that's okay, I mean, they just gave you the removal anyway. Innovate is very good, but it's usually not that good. I've been Dark Skeleton, I'll be back tonight to cover the last of the new class legendary cards, and then tomorrow I believe we will try to cover most, if not all, of the remaining Goblins vs Gnomes cards. Hope you enjoyed watching, and if you did, consider donating to my Patreon. I'll see you all next time.